Ever wondered about the significant role aviation plays during critical times of disaster management? Well, let's delve into that. Aviation is a cornerstone of disaster response, lending its speed, reach and capacity to transport aid and personnel in the wake of calamities. Picture this. A catastrophic earthquake hits a remote region, the infrastructure is decimated and roads are impassable. How do we get life-saving equipment, supplies and humanitarian experts to the affected people swiftly? Aviation is the answer. Airplanes and helicopters are capable of reaching the most isolated and devastated areas in record time. They can deliver tons of supplies, from medical kits to food and water to those in desperate need. They can evacuate the injured and the vulnerable and bring in teams of professionals ready to help with search and rescue, medical care and reconstruction efforts. But it's not just about the planes in the sky. Airports too play a pivotal role during these critical times. These transport hubs transform into lifelines, facilitating the continuous support and influx of goods and supplies. In disaster-stricken areas, they morph into bustling hubs of activity, where aid workers, supplies and equipment converge before being dispatched to the affected regions. That's not all. Aviation also plays a significant role in the aftermath of aviation disasters themselves. It aids in understanding disaster scenarios, improving risk management, emergency response training, and in providing care to the victims, friends and families. So the next time you look up and see a plane soaring above, remember aviation is far more than just a means of travel. It's a lifeline during the most challenging times, a beacon of hope in the aftermath of disasters, and a testament to human resilience and the spirit of aid. As we can see, aviation is not just about flying, it's about saving lives and providing aid when it's needed the most. Let's take a look at an organization that has taken disaster management to another level. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, plays a significant role in disaster response through an initiative known as the Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Response in Aviation, or HADRA. HADRA is a dynamic group of experts who work tirelessly to ensure that aviation is ready and equipped to tackle disasters. But they don't work in isolation. They work hand in hand with humanitarian partners to bolster the preparedness and response capabilities of states and aviation stakeholders. Their mission is not just to react to disasters, but to anticipate them, to plan for them, and to ensure that when the unexpected strikes, the aviation industry is ready to respond. The role of HADRA is multifaceted. They are responsible for coordinating disaster response efforts, ensuring that aid and resources are delivered where they are needed most and as quickly as possible. But they also play a crucial role in disaster preparedness. They help to build up resilience in communities, to instill a culture of preparedness, and to ensure that when a disaster strikes, the impact is minimized as much as possible. HADRA also works on enhancing communication among stakeholders, in the chaos that often follows a disaster, clear and efficient communication is absolutely vital. By facilitating communication between different parties, HADRA ensures that everyone involved in disaster response is on the same page, working towards the same goal. But perhaps one of the most important aspects of HADRA's work is its commitment to continual improvement. They are always looking for ways to make their operations more efficient, to deliver aid more quickly, and to reduce the impact of disasters on communities. They recognize that in the world of disaster response there is always room for improvement and they are committed to finding it. The HADRA initiative is a shining example of how aviation can be leveraged for effective disaster management. By bringing together expertise from across the aviation industry and beyond, by fostering collaboration and communication, and by continually striving for improvement, HADRA is making a real difference in the world of disaster response. And in doing so, they are showing us all the incredible potential of aviation to do good. Now let's delve into a case that wasn't a natural disaster, but still shows the importance of aviation in disaster management. In the year 2009, Air France flight AF447 tragically crashed over the Atlantic Ocean, leading to a catastrophic loss of life. This incident was not a natural disaster, but it highlights the pivotal role of aviation in understanding and managing disaster scenarios, be they natural or man-made. The crash of flight AF-447 raised significant concerns about automation in the cockpit. This sophisticated technology, designed to make flying safer, ironically played a part in the disaster. 
The automated systems encountered an issue and the pilots struggled to regain control of the aircraft, ultimately leading to the tragic crash. The incident brought to the forefront the need for effective risk management and emergency response training in aviation. It underscored the importance of ensuring pilots are not overly reliant on automation, but instead are trained to take control when necessary. It also highlighted the need for comprehensive emergency response plans in case of such mishaps. In the wake of the crash, experts across the globe delved into the incident, dissecting every detail to learn from the tragedy. The aviation industry made significant strides in risk management and emergency response training as a result. While it's impossible to prevent every disaster, the lessons learned from Flight AF 447 have undoubtedly contributed to making aviation safer. The incident served as a stark reminder that while technology plays a crucial role in modern aviation, human skills and preparedness are equally important. The crash also emphasized the role of aviation in disaster management. From the immediate response to the long-term investigation, aviation played a crucial role in managing the disaster and learning from it to prevent similar incidents in the future. This tragic incident underscores the importance of emergency preparedness in aviation and how it plays a crucial role in managing such disasters. Our next case study is yet another example of aviation's role in disaster management. Let's rewind to 2014, a year that witnessed the mysterious disappearance of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. This incident left the world in shock, leading to one of the most extensive sea searches in history. But today, we focus on a different aspect of this event. The airline's response in managing the crisis and the crucial role of the Family Assistance Centre, or FAC. The FAC's operation was instrumental in handling the aftermath of this aviation disaster. It served as a central communication hub, providing regular updates, offering psychological support and delivering necessary assistance to the victims' friends and families. This was an exhausting and emotionally draining task, yet it was handled with utmost professionalism and compassion. The MH370 incident wasn't just a search and rescue operation. It was a crisis that required immediate and ongoing support for those left behind. The airline's response, particularly through the FAC, demonstrated the importance of aviation in disaster management. This wasn't merely about locating the missing aircraft or investigating the cause, it was about people their grief and their need for information and support. The FAC's role was to provide just that, offering a lifeline during a time of unimaginable distress. In the face of disaster, aviation's role expands to include not just immediate response, but also crisis management. It involves coordinating with various agencies, ensuring timely communication, and most importantly, supporting the individuals directly impacted by the event. The MH370 incident is a stark reminder of these responsibilities. It underscores the importance of preparedness, coordination and communication in managing aviation disasters. The MH370 incident reminds us how aviation's role in disaster management extends beyond immediate response to encompass crisis management and family assistance. In wrapping up, we've covered quite a bit of ground today. We've delved into the crucial role of aviation in disaster management exploring how this industry, often seen primarily as a means of transport, becomes a lifeline in times of crisis. We started by understanding that aviation's speed, reach and capacity to transport aid and personnel make it integral to disaster response. Airports in these scenarios transform into hubs of hope, facilitating the continuous influx and distribution of goods and supplies. We then looked at the case of the Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Response in Aviation, or HADRA. The International Civil Aviation Organization plays a significant role in disaster response through the HADRA Experts Group. This group's efforts to enhance preparedness and response capabilities of states and aviation stakeholders in the face of disaster demonstrate the power of coordinated action. Our journey took us next to the tragic incident of Air France Flight AF 447. While not a natural disaster, it was indeed a disaster that raised important questions about automation in the cockpit and its impact on pilots' ability to maintain control. It served as a stark reminder of the need for effective risk management and emergency response training in aviation. And finally, we discussed the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370, 
another aviation disaster that underscored the importance of crisis management and family assistance. The airline's operation of the Family Assistance Center was a testament to the crucial role of aviation in providing care and support to victims, friends and families. Through these case studies, we've seen the multifaceted role of aviation in disaster management and how its effectiveness is dependent on preparedness, coordination and communication among all stakeholders involved. Remember, aviation is a lifeline during critical times, providing aid, support and solace in the face of disaster. Thank you for joining us today and stay tuned for more insightful content.